What's up Fantastics, Alexi here. Today I'm gonna let you know 10 must-know facts about Finland. Let's go check them right now. Number one, more than 2 million saunas in Finland. You probably know already that Finnish people love saunas. But the crazy fact is that this, in the country of 5.5 million people, there's more than 2 million saunas. And that equals around 2.5 saunas per person in Finland. That's crazy, we've got many saunas. But the fact, the thing is that uh, many people usually have saunas at their home in build and another one at their summer cottage. And many companies as well have a sauna inside their facilities. So we got a lot of sauna, just come and join a sauna. Number two, the nickname Finland is the land of a thousand lakes. So in Finland we got lots of lakes and islands too. There's more than 187,000 islands that are bigger than an acre and 168,000 lakes that are bigger than 500 square meters. So we got a lot of islands and lakes for you to enjoy. Number three, Finland in Finnish is Suomi. In English and other languages, Finland is called Finland. But in our own language, Finnish, we call it Suomi. What's the reason behind this? Well, the people who have been researching on this topic haven't really found a clear consensus or explanation why is it called Suomi. One possible explanation is that the word Suomi is derived from the word suo, which means swamp. And we got a lot of swamps here as well, so Suomi, which is like the land of the swamps but there's no confirmation on that and another explanation is uh, that Suomi is derivation from the word Suomia the verb a verb Suomi which means basically to scold or like beat down someone because Finns are known also for them for their uh, fighting spirit <laughs> Number four, the most metal bands per capita. You probably already know that Finnish metal music is awesome, epic, great and so on. But the cool fact is that Finland is the number one country in the world for most metal bands per capita. According to some statistics I've found, there's 53.2 metal bands per 100,000 people. And that's a, that's a lot of metal bands if you think like 53 bands per 100,000 people, that's just... That will be enough for us, I guess. And if you haven't already, go check my video about Finnish metal music after this video. Number five, Finland is number one country in coffee consumption per capita. And another top one spot for Finland as well. Finnish people love coffee and they drink every time they, there's a possibility they drink coffee. And Finland is actually the number one country in the world for coffee consumption per capita. And according to the International Coffee Organization, in 2005, Finnish people drank 12.2 kilograms per person per year. And that equals 12 packages of coffee, and that's a crap load of coffee. But that's kind of weird because I personally don't drink, drink any coffee at all, so I'm kind of the weirdo here. <laughs> Number six, lots of interesting events. We actually got a lot of interesting world championship events here. For example, wife carrying, mobile phone throwing, boot throwing, what else we have here? Air guitar playing and so on. Even berry picking contest I think there is. So if you're looking for something interesting, competitions and events, even for participation, you should book your tickets for Finland right now. Number seven, the every man's rights. Uh, this is a really awesome thing in my opinion. Basically the every man right means that everyone has a right to walk in the forests, lake shores and countryside without the land owner's permission. So for example there's a forest here and if someone actually owned the forest we could go there for free. You know we don't need any permission. We can also pick flowers, berries and mushrooms if we want without any permissions. And we can even set up a camp there as long as it's not close to like some private homes and stuff. It's great because the everyman's rights allow us to enjoy the nature, the Finnish nature, which is pretty awesome already, without any hassle. And the only restriction is don't make any damage, of course, to someone's property, someone's forest. And as long as you don't do that, you'll be fine. You can also um, do fishing. That's also possible. And if there's an ice lake and the ice, you can also walk there on the ice without any restrictions. Awesome, isn't it? Number eight, Finnish passport is the top three passports in the whole world. The Finnish passport is one of the most powerful passports in the whole world because you can enter 156 countries without visa with the Finnish passport. 
and it currently ranks the third place and it it, it's, it shares the third place with few other countries but it's the th most third most powerful passport in the world another really cool thing is that the, there's running moves inside the Finnish passport which is a really kind of funny Finnish thing in our passport number nine the least population density in the European Union the population density of Finland is uh, around 18 people per square kilometer which makes it the least den population density country in the European Union and the third least population density in the whole Europe. The only countries that have even less people is Iceland and Norway. We got plenty of space here and you don't have to worry about bumping into pe people here. <laughs> Isn't that right? Number 10 and the last fact is the official languages which are Finnish and Swedish and many people actually don't know that like are outside of Finland that our official languages are Finnish and Swedish. The Swedish is because we used to belong to Swedish uh, Sweden back in the back in the days so it's kind of like old old stuff from there and we have to learn Swedish at school as well but Finnish people don't really care about Swedish because we don't have to we have barely any situations where we actually need to use Swedish so most of the most of the Swedish we learn in school will be forgotten after we get out of the school so that's kind of sad we also Finns also speak really good English in average so if you go in the streets and you stop some random people in the street no matter what if it was old or a young person it's highly likely that they will be able to help you with your problem in English all right that's all our Finnish facts for today. Remember to join the Fantastic Squad by hitting the subscribe button and the bell button so you get more authentic, fun and useful videos about Finland every week. And there's a few other videos popping up here so remember to check those Fantastic videos as well. I hope I'll see you in the next video again. So, more.